Okay students, in this video we are looking to review the four points of concurrency. The first point is what we call the circumcenter. The circumcenter is found when we construct the three perpendicular bisectors. So let's find the first perpendicular bisector of BC, AC, and AB. The point where those three lines meet this point here is what we call the circumcenter and the circumcenter will be equidistant to the three vertices so to vertex A, B and C so it's going to be equidistant so just to clarify this from D to B will be the same as D to A and from D to C. I'm going to just make these a different color. So let's make these red so we can see these are the equal lengths. So the, these three are exactly the same. We call this the circumcenter. The next line that we need to look at, or the next point of concurrency, is what we call the in-center. The in-center in of a triangle is found when we have the three angle bisectors. Three angle bisectors. So let's come up with a triangle. Let's draw a triangle. A, let's call this ABC. Triangle ABC. So triangle A, B, C. And we are going to create the, well, find the three angle bisectors. So let's bisect each angle here. Let me look for that tool. I know we have it here somewhere. Here we go, angle bisector. So let's bisect B, A, C. So I just created the first angle bisector, which means that these two are the same. It's the first angle bisector and there are three angle bisectors so let's find the other two angle bisectors so let's find the angle bisector of B C A and lastly A B C so that point where those three angle bisectors meet this point here is what we call the in-center. Remember these two angles are the same and these two angles are the same because they have been bisected. Now unlike the circumcenter, this in-center will be equidistant not to the vertices but to the actual sides. It's going to be equidistant to the sides. So between here and actually more like this way, this distance here, this will be the same as if I draw a segment to this side and to this side. All of these three lengths will be the same. We call this the in center. That's the in center. The next one is the next point of concurrency is what we call the centroid. So let's find a triangle. Again, let's call this ABC. So let's call this ABC. So a triangle A, B, C. 
And to do this, I have to find the midpoint of each segment. So let's find the midpoint of AB first. All right, so let's find the midpoint of AB, which is there. Let's find the midpoint of AC, which is there, and then finally BC. So once we have the midpoints, then I have to construct the first or the three medians, and a median is a segment from one vertex to the opposite midpoint, or the midpoint of the opposite side. So again, second median would be this one, third median would be that one. And again, this point here is what we call the centroid. This point here is a centroid. I'm going to call this point, let's call it, uh, let's call it H. So, if I look at the long part of this median, BH, BH is going to be, BH is going to be two-thirds of BE. So again, BH, sorry about this handwriting guys, BH is equal to, so BH is equal to two-thirds of the entire median. So if the entire median is, if BE is 15, then that means BH is two-thirds of that. Two-thirds of 15 is 10, which means HE is 5. So I hope that makes sense. Um, let me know if you have any questions. The next one is what we call the orthocenter. And I think this is the most uh, difficult point of concurrency. Again, let's call this ABC, triangle A, B, and C. And let's find the first, well, to find the orthocenter, we need to find the three altitudes. So orthocenter, the orthocenter is going to be, it's going to be found when we have the three altitudes, three altitudes. Let me see if I have a tool here that gives me the altitude. Um, okay, so let's just find the first altitude. So basically an altitude is basically a, a segment from the tallest part of the object that uh, intersects the base or is perpendicular to the base. So I need to make that clear that this has to be a 90 degree angle. So that's the first altitude. There's three altitudes. This will be the second altitude. Again, it has to be perpendicular to the opposite length or the opposite side. And the last one will be this one here. So the point where these three lines intersect, this point right here is what we call the orthocenter. I hope that makes sense. Please rewind the video if you have to uh, review other parts more in detail. Let me know if you have any questions.